Rwanda 2016 na kama mlivyosikia kwamba ni vice president wa atakuwa vice president ambaye ana represent Miss East Africa um, leo amekuja kwa nia na madhumuni kwanza kuja kufahamu counterpart wake wa upande wa Tanzania na tutaangalia zaidi ya just beauty page tunataka kuangalia ni jinsi gani tunaweza kutumia hii platform kuwasaidia mabinti na wasichana wa Tanzania iwe ifike sehemu kwamba mabinti na wasichana wa Tanzania wao wanapata fursa ya kutoka kwenda ku represent in other countries outside countries kama vile yeye yeah, anapokuja huku au juzi mmemuona zari alikuja kuna nili kusukusu nani so we, it has to reach a point where pia wanawake na wasichana wa kike wa Tanzania na sisi pia tunatoka tunaenda kwenye nchi za watu wengine na tuna represent sasa kabla tujafika huko kuna vipengele ambazo pia itakuwa ni elimu masomo ya jinsi ya kufanya nini sasa Joli yeye yeah, anafanya vizuri sana Rwanda So tutakutana na mabinti wa Tanzania na ata, watapata fursa ya kujielimisha ni jinsi gani na vitu gani ambavyo anatakiwa afanye. So I was just explaining briefly on uh, one of the reasons why you are for Tanzania but you shouldn't expect much Swahili from me. I for the love of Kiswahili I wouldn't love to butcher the language but otherwise natamani sana kuongea Kiswahili lakini Kiswahili changu ni cha hovyo hovyo tu nikiongea wote mtakimbia so and there is no gonna be a press conference anymore i'm very humbled to be here and to begin with i'll thank everyone here thank you for your presence this means so much to me uh, the media media really plays a very good role when it comes to each and every activity that uh, the public figures want to bring to the community. So just like Ikoa said, I am here for Mrs. East Africa to revive, to partner with, uh, you know, the license holders of Mrs. East Africa are nationals here in Tanzania. So we had agreements and I'm here as the vice president. And as a woman and a product of a beauty pageant, I'm very happy and honored to be here. And I was empowered to empower other people. I was given to give. I believe in the platform of, of beauty pageants. Uh, so often we have uh, beauty pageants. There is an intriguing conversation about beauty pageants. When somebody talks of beauty pageants or beauty competitions, Uh, people often listen to only beautiful women decked up on stage and with beautiful hair and beautiful makeup and they do not give value to to the aftermath of the event people look at it as an event but as a young woman who has been empowered by this platform we want to to create more of these platforms and have more women take up space in society have more women believe that uh, there is much more on the crown. It's, it's not about the crown. You know, people shouldn't view uh, the whole beauty pageant as fame and publicity, but you can be a very beautiful woman and have purpose and have cause and do something diligent to the society. You can be a model, you can be a video vixen. You know, these are things that really uh, empower young women. Even though much has been done to equalize gender imbalances between you know there is still there is the gas the, the gap ceiling is still available and we believe that there are not most more spaces in these societies or worldwide where a woman can have can take up space can have enough impact can you know can have leadership roles and we have strong belief that uh, beauty pageants Are platforms to empower women to take up space in society, to to move from a stage of vulnerability and start building character. You know, the more we, we encourage our boys to have confidence, it, it is the same way that we should encourage our young women or young girls to take up their spaces in society and, ta and take up leadership roles. And by being a leader, it's not being in a public office, it's not being a minister, it's not being a governor, but it's taking up responsibility. 
And this, this is one of the platforms that at a very tender age, at a very young age, a young woman manages to take up responsibility, builds character, do something diligent to the society. Uh, you know, as a woman, you get to develop from a state of vulnerability and also uh, built with values of activism, with values of being responsible citizens of their respective countries, with values of, of being representatives, you know? And besides that as well, politically and economically, it's a very good platform that uh, fosters unity among countries. Um, even worldwide, we believe that uh, East African countries are countries that have a great heritage. We have our agriculture, we have our tourism sectors, we have our potential investment areas, and we believe that if we can invest into this platform, it's going to help the East African countries, you know, showcase this heritage to the rest of the world, which I believe that uh, as, East Afri from, as East Africans, we're not going to lose but gain. So if we can cooperate and invest into this platform and make sure that Every young woman growing up uh, sees this platform as an empowering platform, sees, uh, enables to see that there is much more for her beauty, much more than her face and hair and looks, but a woman is much more than that, but can do also diligence in the society, not like the, the you know, the, the status quo that has been built in society that I are beautiful. It is to be accountable, you know, be accountable and be responsible, you know, doing things like you're doing something for your own. When you take up responsibility and when you feel you're accountable, then you can be able to participate in society as a responsible citizen. Even by taking good care of yourself, your mannerisms, your discipline as, as an individual, then you're being exemplary and a responsible citizen and impactful as well. I believe that the only way to go, we, we, are very, we have a very rich, uh, we have green soils, we have greener soils and greener pastures than the other side. So if we can embark on agriculture, then it could be, a, you know, agriculture is the backbone of every economy, you know, and mostly Africans, we have, we have greener pastures. So if we can embark on agriculture, then invest more self in producing much more for ourselves, use our energy in Africa than taking it to other places, then we could be very impactful and the balance of trade would be fair. Uh, naitwa John Momadi. Uh, kwa niaba ya Arena Events ambayo ndio inaandaa mashindano ya Miss East Africa. Ah uh, tumekuja kumkaribisha kumpokea uh, Vice President wetu wa Miss East Africa toka Rwanda na tunashukuru sana kwa kufika salama Tanzania na amekuja kwa takriban wiki mbili atakuepo hapa and I'm positive covid 19 negative <laughs> <laughs> ya yeah, iko vizuri ana ana corona amepimwa <laughs> iko vizuri na atakuwa kama kwa wiki mbili katika shughuli mbalimbali za kijamii na vile vile kuja kuangalia muktabali wa mambo ya Miss East Africa atakapokuwa katika mwaka huu kama nilivyoeleza mwanzo kwa hiyo maswala mengine mengi tutaanza kwa taarifu na wakati tutakapokuwa tumekaa kikao maalum na rais wetu ani president Rena Kalist na vice president watakuwa kwa pamoja na tutawaletea mambo mbalimbali ambayo yatakuwa yanaendelea kuhusu Miss Africa. Lakini tutupeni kama siku nne then tutakuwa na kikao kikubwa cha wanishi wa habari ambapo kitaongelea mambo ya Miss East Africa. Lakini kwa sasa hivi amekuja kwa ajili ya shughuli za kijamii na kuangalia nini kinachoendelea katika kuandaa Miss East Africa.